I hope you're enjoying the Now is the Time series, and I'd love to have your feedback on the series and you know what you think about the different topics we've been covering this time. Today's program, I'm sure you're very excited about this, Training Your Manager, or better known as Setting Boundaries and Maximizing Your Time and Talents. If you think about today's manager, executive, leader, whatever word you use or whatever word you're comfortable with, they are independent, they are tech savvy, and they are very proud that they can do things on their own. This ties back to some of the videos I did earlier about the different job responsibilities and duties. This is good news, but also it means you're going to have to train your manager on how to better, better utilize you and how to maximize your time and your talents. How do we do that? I'm going to get right into the action steps today. First of all, you're going to have to tread lightly. In other words, if you think about a manager who's been used to operating a certain way for a long period of time, they just don't change their habits overnight, just like you and I don't change overnight. I want you to know up front that you're going to have to walk pretty easily as you go along this path and be very patient with that manager. Um, the first thing that you want to do is make sure you've been clear on perceptions and expectations. And that ties back to an earlier video I did and had asked you to talk to your manager about the perceptions of your role and the expectations of the tasks being formed. The next step is to really take a look at the different projects and the different kinds of tasks and responsibilities and what your manager works on. Now as you look at those projects, let's say there's a particular project that your manager works on all the time. Maybe it's a certain presentation they give on a regular basis to a certain group or there is a report or a, a budget that they have to present every quarter. Find out about that project and talk to your manager about the different aspects of that project and where could you help? Where would you fit in? Even if they have to take some time to teach you where they get the information, where they get the numbers, or how they put that information together. Another part of this, of course, is learning to set boundaries. If you are, you feel like you're stretched too thin, that is a term I've been hearing from assistants pretty regularly lately. If you feel like you are stretched too thin, well, we have to be careful now that if we start to eliminate a lot of the functions that you're performing, that you also don't disappear because of that. What you want to do is look for first where you can add value, what work can you take on, get your manager to help train you, coach you, help you know how to, to take over that piece of the work, and then start to eliminate your more mundane tasks and the kinds of tasks and responsibilities or duties that really aren't critical and impact the bottom line. I can tell you in training managers personally, you do have to tread lightly and you have to be careful of the kinds of terminology you use, but the key is to always letting them see the benefits. In other words, think about what is the benefit over a 12-month period. Mr. Manager, if you take an hour today and you teach me where to get that information and how to calculate and put that report together, I will save you 12 hours in a year's time. What would you really like to do with that 12 extra hours that actually will make a difference in your job and your career? Wording. It's how you word it, how you present it. So, good luck. Now is the time, so get started.